so this is it. This is the world premiere of the long-awaited Lee L9. We've been waiting for years for this to come out. I know I have. Throughout the forums and throughout the Lee Auto world, a lot of people thought that the second vehicle from Lee Auto would be more of a compact SUV. That seems to be the trend in a lot of these upstart companies. But Lee didn't do that. They went the opposite direction. They went bigger and even better and even more luxurious. Thanks to the good folks at Lee Auto, I have traveled here to the beautiful city of Shenzhen in order to bring you this exclusive look into this magnificent machine. So this is my first time actually taking a look at the L9 in person. I've seen photos on it. They've been releasing it over the last couple of months and I gotta say my first impressions of it are beyond what I ever imagined. The lines are clean, it is really really massive especially for the Chinese market and it is just gorgeous inside and out. What can I say about the new flagship from Li Auto? Over the past four years and about 180,000 Li Ones delivered we haven't seen anything released because they've been self-developing it. And I was told by my friends at Li Auto that they literally packed everything they could think of into this car. With over 60% of their design team being international, including designers from Porsche and Land Rover, everything from the halo light to the body proportions, everything is form serves function. So the display model out here in front of the uh, showroom is my first impression of it. Oh my God. Oh my God, these seats are comfortable. I love these pillows. The first thing that I notice when I step in here is just how elegant everything is. Screwed together so nicely, like just like the L1. This is a solid vehicle. Just soft touch everywhere. Now they do have a, a HUD, a heads up display, but for the most part, the screens are all to the right of me. At first glance, the lines in here are rather boxy because of the, the two big screens here, uh, but there are some flowing lines that go with it, almost like a cascading waterfall effect from the dashboard with these floating uh, screens. Beautiful. Um, you can see here, like an electric car, it is flat, but it uh, doesn't have your traditional grill, which normally I don't like because it doesn't give the car any kind of personality but here with the halo light it works so look at the size of this back rear window it is massive and they did this on purpose because they wanted the uh, people inside to feel so they're not enclosed in some kind of you know tomb if you will it's open and airy and they took that into consideration so this back window is purposely gigantic now being a three-row car you're going to want to have to put these back seats down to get a little bit more luggage space right so it is power operated just press those two buttons and they go down in addition to that there's another button here if i press this the car will actually lower so it's easier to get luggage in here simple and to raise it again just press the button and up it comes and out just bring the seats right back up. Like the Li One, this is an electric car with a range extender in it. It's a four cylinder, 1.5 liter turbo engine. With a 65 meter fuel tank and the electric batteries, it'll give you a range of 1,315 kilometers. That is 1,100 on gas and 215 on electric. It has a zero to 100 kilometer speed of 5.3 seconds, and its fuel consumption is about 5.1 liters per 100 kilometers. Everything in this car, the engine, the motor, is all self developed. They spent the time, the energy, and the capital to develop as much as possible in house. This gives greater flexibility for changes in the future. One of the surprising things, I actually got to sit down and enjoy it for a few minutes, is the sound system. This has a 21 speaker Dolby Atmos 7.3.4 system in it. And let me tell you, it is bumping. There are five 2 million pixel cameras on the vehicle and six 8 million pixel cameras, including one LiDAR and 12 sonar radars. Climbing into the second row here. First of all, it's very easy to step into this thing. Very solid, huge doors. One of the things that gets me is just the amount of room and space that you have back here. And on this side, on the passenger side, you've got a table that comes out. 
the quality of this table, they didn't skimp out at all. I mean, this is beautiful. And I'm told it can hold about 20 kilos. So you can put a laptop in here, you know, make some drinks, make a snack, take care of a, a baby that you might have with you. And in addition to that, it will connect to the screen up here. So you can type on your computer and have this as an extended desktop. In addition to that, you can also plug in a Twitch or a PlayStation and play video games. Great for the kids on those long haul road trips. Of course, you have power adjustable seats, right? The front two seats have massage, heating, and air conditioning. The back two seats have massage, heating, and air conditioning. The rear seat also does heating. No matter where you are in this car, you're gonna be comfortable. There's a lot of storage here. One of the things I, about the Lee One is that there seemed to be uh, a lack of storage, but here they've thought of that, and even a little slip for your phone. There are eight charging stations throughout the car, two of which are wireless at the front. Another great thing about this screen is that it's gestured. So if I put my hand up here, I can grab it and move the screen and make my selections. Lee Xiang not only incorporates gesture movement into this, but just like in the Li One where you say, hey, Li Xiang Tong Shui, and uh, tell it to roll down the window, you don't even have to tell them to roll down the rear passenger side window. You can just point and say, Li Xiang Tong Shui, please roll down this window. Please open this window. So Li Xiang can actually see where you're pointing. She's watching you all the time. Climbing into the business chair. Whoa, it is quite nice in here. Let me see. First of all, you got two wireless charging right there. A couple cup holders, USB-C everywhere in here. And what something the one didn't have was storage underneath. So you have additional storage right here. The steering wheel is rather small for a car this big, but again, it doesn't need to be big. I mean, everything you need is in this incredible heads up display in front of me. So I've got a little bit of a screen right here that gives me the, you know, my range and my speed and all that. All that's on the, on the HUD anyways. This has not just one Snapdragon 8155, but two of them. It's just the lightest touch to move back and forth. Super, super light. These screens are made by Samsung and they're actually one of the thinnest on the market right now. I think they're about four millimeters each and each one is just a delight to play with. That is slick. Super, super soft seats. You get just the right height that you need. Telescoping and tilting steering wheel. Ooh. I love that massage function. This would be a very pleasant place to go for a drive. Again, all the materials in here are first class. Everything feels great to the touch. They really did a fantastic job with this interior. Oh, I almost forgot. In the back seat here, another great function is the hidden fridge. Look at this. So yeah, you're driving down the road, right? You're in the back seat. You can play some video games, watch a movie. Now I'm thirsty. So you know what I think I'm gonna have? A drink. Now this fridge they're telling me will hold about 10 different cans and it's not only cooled but it's also heated and when the car shuts off it will stay cool or heated for up to 24 hours. All right now I gotta climb to the back seat of this thing. <laughs> okay in the back seat again cup holders charging and a place to store your phone. In addition the backrest is adjustable so I can go back and get a little bit more space if I want. All electric and I have a heating function. Third row heated seats. You see this light right here? They call that the halo light. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of floating in the air. They told me they invested 200 million RMB for the manufacturing of this two, over two meter long front light. And of course it continues to the light in the back. Now it's got this multi-tiered front end. Of course, the headlights and high beams are down here. And then these are the running lights. But see these? These are not turn signals. These lights will change color to green, to blue, whatever. And if the car is in autonomous driving mode, it'll tell the other drivers that it is based on the color. That's the first of its kind. These headlights are actually 25% brighter than the BMW. This car is actually more expensive to produce than a BMW X7 or even the Mercedes competition, but it's much cheaper 
And that's because you're not paying for the name, the BMW, the Mercedes. So you're getting a lot more for less money. So that is the L9 from Li Auto. Li Xiang has done an amazing job with their first vehicle, the Li One, and this just takes it to another level. It gets me thinking, what will they come up with next? Only time will tell. But for now, they have set the bar at a new level for not just the Chinese market, but for the world.